Yeah, I did a reel maybe a couple of months ago trying to explain what it was going to be like just a few seconds after the rapture had a actually taken place. And um, it wasn't very popular, but it's true, you know. And so I'm a, I'm a pre-tribulation saint. I believe in the pre-trib rapture. And I believe that, like the word says, God said that we would be able to avoid all these things that would take place or happen on the earth. So I, I believe that with all my heart. I, I don't believe that we we'll have to face his wrath as the body of Christ. I believe that we are to be raptured to attend the the um, the feast that's prepared for us. And so I said all that to say, it's time to get our lives together, come back to Christ, come back to Jesus, because it's getting serious down here. You know, we're looking at, you know, uh, food shortages. Every time I go to the grocery store, I see what I haven't ever seen in my lifetime from living in America, and that's shelves that are short of supply. I see gas prices going up. I see hopelessness. I see wars, rumors of wars. All over the world, I'm seeing earthquakes in diverse places. I'm seeing mudslides are just wearing California out. You know, places that usually don't have bad weather or having really bad weather, you know. So these are the signs of the times. We're seeing an increase in violent crimes, abductions, kidnappings, murders. Um, we're seeing a lot of stuff that is actually escalating in the word of God calls those birth pangs. And so the baby's got to be born here shortly because... I believe it could get worse, but I don't believe that it could get worse for the church because we'll be gone. And so I'm telling you, let's get this thing together while there's time. Let's begin to operate in our gifts. Let's begin to love on one another. I can't tell you how many family members have ought against other family members' blood that call themselves Christians. I just can't understand that. And hang on to that thing as if it's okay. It's not okay. And it's not about us. It's about Christ. <laughs> it's about bringing people to Christ. The word of God says the goodness of God brings men to repentance. And so what about the word in the life of the believer? So I said all that to say, we got to be ready for the rapture because God said in his word, he, he didn't say it right out right, but he said two women will be grinding at the mill. One will be taken and one will remain. He said two men will be sleeping in the bed. One will be taken, one will, rem will remain. Ooh, I had stuttered. I'm just getting all excited about this one, you know. And so that's indicative of half of those who call themselves Christians won't make the cut the first time. Let's make the cut the first time because I'm telling you, a minute after the rapture happens, you're going to have a billion people just disappear up off this earth to go meet Jesus in the clouds. And what's going to happen? be unleashed on the earth is going to be something that we don't want no part of. Hell will be open, wide up, wide open, and and everything that comes with it is coming onto the earth. We have people looting, pillaging, murdering for sport. You have people robbing. You have vehicles careening into buildings and crowds of people You're going to have aircraft falling out of the sky. It's going to be horrible. And so I tell you, I don't want to be left down here to have to be prepared for whatever should come to uh, to violate my home or my person. So 
I rather put down the stuff that clouds our judgment. I rather stop the personal sin, be all in or don't be in at all. Because Jesus, when he comes, he's going to come to get us. And it's going to leave the world in a mess. So let's choose Jesus today so we can avoid those things that will come upon the earth. We don't want no part of them. And we sure don't want to die for Christ after the rapture. It'll be an honor, but study for the test and get an A the first time. Get a passing grade the first time rather than having to do the, take the test over in summer school. It's always worse in summer school, I'm just saying. So let's be found doing his will should he crack that sky and we're found coming up short. We don't want to be left down here. So for all y'all who are teetering on the fence, and the Holy Spirit's been tugging on you. Heed the tug and choose Jesus today. And until next time, I love y'all. That's right. Peace. We'll see you on the radio.